649 this morning and as the students return back to the classroom, experts say that parents and teachers should look for signs of bullying in the classroom. Roughly one in five children ages 12 to 18 are bullied in the United States. That's according to data released by the National Center for Education Statistics. Now bullying is more prevalent in middle school than high school with almost one in three students reporting incidents of bullying in sixth grade. Local Miami mom T.T. Floyd wrote the Bully Brigade series. It's books to help parents and kids navigate during these times. Well, the book is important because it's centered around the theme of empathy. As we know, empathy breeds heroism. So it's very important for children to stand up for one another and to use empathy. We have to teach them empathy. We have to teach them how to put themselves in another person's shoes and um, just be mindful of what they might be going through. Yeah, well, she has some, some tips for parents out there. Number one, if your child is being bullied, make sure they keep a journal. Make sure they're documenting their experiences. Make sure they include the date and if there's any witnesses. Also, teach your kids some emotional focus coping skills, like teaching them to repeat self-affirmations. And also, you may want to consider putting them in some confidence-building activities like martial arts. And also, if the family is going through crisis or needs emergency counseling for mental health concerns, you can always call 211. Online safety should be talked about year round, especially with our children and with them going back to school. Now they're going to have access to all their computers. So social media is a huge part of middle and high school, but there are online predators that you need to be watching out for because they could be watching your children. The Child Rescue Coalition has some tips for talking to your child and how to enable those important security settings on certain apps so that your children can remain safe. They suggest to closely follow your child's online behavior